Come on. Play catch. Play catch. Play catch. Look, stick. See stick. See stick. Yeah. Yeah, look, 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 stick. Look, stick. Stick, stupid. That's a stick, boy. Look at this. Yeah. You like your stick? You like your And no wonder you're extinct. I was a pretty big fan of Seinfeld growing up. Some of my favorite scenes in that show were between Kramer and Newman, Jerry's postman arch nemesis. As a kid, it blew my mind to see Newman's actor also appear in one of my favorite films, Jurassic Park. Only here, he wasn't a comedic nemesis, but actually one of the film's lead villains. His character, Dennis Nedry, was so instrumental in the plot that he even got his own action figure. I even still have the trading card that came with this figure proudly on display on my refrigerator, representing one of my favorite film characters. And let's not forget, he also got a cameo appearance in Weird Al's music video. While Jurassic Park is rightfully still praised to this day for its groundbreaking special effects, I actually think it deserves even more praise for its memorable characters, something its sequels were never able to get the same handle on. I want to talk about one of my favorite characters from that film, Dennis Nedry, as portrayed by Wayne Knight. Yeah, that's nice. Dennis Nedry has one of my favorite introductions in film history, being introduced to the audience in one of the film's first scenes. Oh, you shouldn't use my name. Dodson. Dodson! We've got Dodson here! See, nobody cares. Nice hat. You're trying to look like a secret agent? This scene tells us all we need to know about his character. Not only is he greedy and gluttonous, he's also kind of an asshole. Dennis Nedry is hired by a rival company to steal dinosaur embryos from his employer, InGen, who founded Jurassic Park. The bottom screws open. <laughs> It's cool to compartmentalize you got so that's We receive hints that Nedry chose to betray InGen due to his own financial troubles. You think that kind of automation is easy? Or cheap? You know anybody who can network eight connection machines and debug two million lines of code for what I bid for this job? Because if you can, I'd love to see him try. Sorry about your financial problems, Dennis. I really am, but they are your problems. I love the way that Wayne Knight plays this character. He's just someone you love to hate. I love this scene especially, where his arrogance is replaced with nervousness, as he's about to steal the dinosaur embryos. Because I'm, I'm going up the machine, I thought maybe, you know, I, I'd get somebody something, because I've had all these sweets and I think I'm going to get something salty, I thought maybe some would go. Dennis Nedry sets off the catalyst of events that lead to the demise of Jurassic Park, by disabling the security system so he can steal the embryos and make it to the East Dock on time. But being that this is Jurassic Park, his mission isn't met without complication. <laughs> While trying to get his Jeep unstuck from the mud, he comes across the Dilophosaurus, my personal favorite dinosaur thanks to this movie. It's a seemingly harmless looking dinosaur. You got time, you got time, you can do it! <clears throat> do it! Come on, Dennis! But if you were paying close attention to the film, it was hinted that this dino might not be so friendly in an earlier scene. Called Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus? <laughs> One of the earliest carnivores, we now know Dilophosaurus is actually poisonous, spitting its venom at its prey, causing blindness and eventually paralysis. Even to this dinosaur, Nedry is kind of a dick. I'm gonna run you over when I come back down. <laughs> But it all balances out when he meets his demise. I heard Wayne Knight saying in an interview that this dinosaur spit was actually made up of mostly dyed KY jelly. That would have been one hell of a promotional tie-in. 
This iconic shot of his embryo canister drifting away was always rumored to be a potential plot point in later films. There's actually a great follow-up video game released in 2011 that deals directly with this, with Nedry's remains even being discovered. Even though his character only receives a few minutes of screen time, Wayne Knight is just one of the most memorable parts about Jurassic Park. He plays this character so well, really making us dislike him from the start, but also incredibly fun to watch on screen. Dennis, our lives are in your hands and you have butterfingers? <laughs> I'm totally unappreciated in my time. He's also the reason the rest of the events of the film happen in the way that they do. His performance resulted in some of my favorite quotes from the film, and a string of merchandise that is still being produced to this day, with a new action figure even on the way from Mattel that includes an interchangeable head. It's also been pointed out that most of Dennis Nedry's wardrobe in this film is similar to the wardrobes worn by each of the Goonies. And with Spielberg being involved in both films, I can't help but think this isn't a coincidence. Jurassic Park turned 27 yesterday, and if you haven't seen it in a long time, Maybe now's the perfect time to give it a watch. Wayne Knight's performance is one of many reasons it's worth the full price of admission. Don't get cheap on me, Dodson. That was Hammond's mistake. <laughs>